20,000 Americans remain stuck in the war zone tonight. We're digging into Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order to evacuate Floridians stranded in Israel. Wink News investigative reporter Kelly Miller joins us. Kelly, the governor's already working with Israel to charter flights. Where's the money to pay for that coming from? Well, Amanda, the money is coming from a fund set up for responding to disasters declared as a state of emergency by the governor. It's called the state's Emergency Preparedness and Response Fund. I'm still digging into exactly how much money is being pulled. But first, let's hear from political scientist Aubrey Jewett for more insight. Lots of people, tourists and others, who are over there are temporarily stranded. They have no easy way of getting out. Mm -hmm. And so this is Governor DeSantis's attempt to at least help some of the Floridians that are stuck in Israel and get them away home. Governor also said the declaration will help law enforcement prevent potential violence at any demonstrations against Israel and to, quote, protect the Jewish population in their schools and places of worship. It further says the state can begin transporting supplies to Israel, though the exact details are not being made public. The governor was quick to take this action, relatively quick to take this action of declaring the emergency and filing this executive order. So now it will be interesting to see what, if anything, actually comes of it, right? And Governor Ron DeSantis' team did tell us some Floridians may be able to come home within the next 24 hours, but he expects a majority will fly out Saturday night when the Sabbath ends. Now, no word yet on if these flights will help Floridians trapped in Gaza. We'll keep pressing for answers. Back to you, Russ.